Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, bringing a bonus tip today for macros. Let's get right into this. I am working on, as you saw from the Tech Tip Tuesday video this week, layouts and trying to automate some linked layouts. With X14, we now have these this option to have our layout labels be callouts. And with that, uh, by default, the callouts under the um, under the line are given as a macro called box underscore scale. So let's go you know, open this. I selected the layout and opened it using control E on my keyboard, command E if you're on a Mac, uh, and clicked on the label tab over here. Uh, use callout is uh, selected here, and I'm going to edit this and click on attributes. Text above the line is something I'm entering manually, but by default, I have set it up that the text below the line is going to be scale underscore box scale. Um, I think I think out of the box chief just says box scale here. And you can get that by uh, using this macro uh, object specific box scale. Now, I, don't like this format of defining the scale. One quarter space IN space equals space one space FT. I like to use the double tick marks and the single tick uh, dash zero um, with the uh, scales here. So I put myself to writing a macro for that. In, to go to macros, you can click on the text, uh, any text um, tool. You, this does need to be in your layout in order to work on the layout labels. Um, so one of the drop down options is text macro management. I'm calling this under my uh, small case, my uppercase S for scale my scale. And let's go through this. Um, I'm going to create a string called my string equals box scale. Don't put the percents here because we're, now we're working directly with the macro. Uh, my string dot g sub exclamation point. And what that's, this line's going to do is um, replace the space i n with a double quote, double tick quote. Now, Ruby uses quotes as part of their um, language. So you can't just do quote, quote, quote. You can't just enter a quote. You, um, it will mess it up. You have to use percent Q curly brace and whatever's in between the curly braces is what will get and substituted verbatim. Okay, so in this line, it's percent Q curly brace, then the quote, the double tick mark, end curly brace, end bracket. That takes care of, let's, uh, let's do this here and Uh, oh, here's a little tip, guys. Because I'm working with, um, I'm trying to make something work for this layout, select the layout, and then click the macro management. Now when I click on my scale, I can actually see what how this macro is going to work without having to get out of, uh, it's going to evaluate the macro without having to get out of this and see how this updates. All right, so let's edit. It also shows by selecting this, it also shows that here as well. All right, so the first one you've got is the dot uh, g sub exclamation point bracket or uh, parentheses. And the first line is what you're going to be what's going to be replaced, comma, and then what it's going to be replaced with. Okay. So the first line takes care of the space IN right here. 
and replaces it with no space and just the uh, double quotation, double quote mark there. Okay. And to do the double quote, don't forget, you need the percent Q curly brace. And then whatever's inside the curly brace will get um, replaced. Second line here, my string dot G sub exclamation um, parentheses, we're going to replace the space FT. So in, in quotes, remember Ruby uses the quotes as understanding what part of the string you're going to be um, deleting. In quotes, I put the space FT, end quote, comma, and then once again, I use the percent Q curly braces, and I want to replace it with the um, apostrophe dash zero quote, end curly brace. Okay. I want to take a quick second here to point out that you do not need to use the percent Q if uh, your string manipulation does not include the quote mark. That percent Q only forces a um, li literal interpretation of what's between the curly braces. Um, again, if you're using anything other than the, the quote mark, you do not need to use the percent Q curly brace. Then the question comes, what if this string is empty? What if I have selected a a layout and put not no scale in it. Okay, you've got that option. If we open this, go to box scale, I could do no scale, or I could have it to a scale. I could have it one inch equals 30 feet. Um, I could if I was to get this really uh, robust, I might try to see if it's, um, and I can see why why Chief does the inches, because if it's something other than inches, uh, then I leave it as CM, which I, I, did, I haven't tested this to see if CMDM works. I suppose it would because if if in and ft isn't there it's not going to replace it right um but what if i have it at no scale what if that is blank then i'm going to select this layout and go back into my text macro management go into my scale and edit so if my string dot empty question mark my string equals quote n dot t dot s end quote else show my string and end so this bracket right there tells it what to do then if it's empty tell it nts else show my string what we have figured out here before and end the if statement that way i get the one half inch equals one one foot dash zero inches or NTS. Now let's test this out and see if my box scale goes to one centimeter equals 30 what meters. So that would be that would remain the same. One centimeter equals 30 yards. Centimeter equals one yard. There you go. So it's only replacing the feet and inches. If it goes one centimeter equals one foot, so it's going to say one cm equals one foot dash zero inches. There you go. Once again, if I go to no scale, and then um, resize this to fit on my page. It's NTS, not to scale. All automated. Kind of liking this X14 stuff. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Take care.